Hello everyone, it's Diane. Uh, I just thought I would share with you the progress I've made on this domestic arts journal. Um, I'm sorry, I've been working on it without you. <laughs> I just work on it here and there when I get a chance. Um, I spent some time yesterday with my daughter. I'm going to be spending time today with my sisters. So, um, I just work on it when I can. So, I just thought I'd share with you what I've done. So I have put together the cover. I made a, uh, I can't remember if it was three or three and a half inch spine. Three inches, it's a three inch spine and I made it with chipboard and Tyvek and then put this um, printed duck cloth over it. And I put some of those vintage trims that I picked up at the flea market yesterday. This one is on the back. It was cut in a V there, so I just left it there hanging off. And this gorgeous one that I really love. I went ahead and normally I would hoard stuff like this, but I am really going gung-ho on using my stuff. So I just thought it was perfect on this. And then I used a little piece of this tasseled pom-pom trim right there. On the inside, I used some wallpaper pieces that I had gotten from Kalina Bean on, on Etsy. I can link her shop below if I remember. <clears throat> so these are washable. I don't know how old they are, but it's a washable wallpaper, and I love the topiary. So I cut out pieces of that and used it to um, cover the insides. Just a piece of scrapbook paper in there. I have the four signatures. Um, I might have a little more work to do on them. So a lot of it you've seen, but a lot of it you haven't. So I'll just go through it all. This is the Courier and Ives calendar page with the pom-pom trim. And it flips open. It has this vintage I have voted card. And a uh, catalog card from the library. I just stitched some fabric to it. Um, made a booklet out of this 1980s pattern catalog page. Just put some notebook paper in there. This is a pattern from the center of a sewing magazine. I doubled it and um, glued it together and then I put fabric on the edge of it, the inside edge. Just stitched on a little piece of trim and a little piece of paper that came out, oops, sorry, a little piece of uh, paper that came out of a little notebook and I put on this vintage gift sticker. It says greetings. This is cardstock and this is cardstock also I made the pocket out of and this is a piece of rosette trim that someone sent me. This is the lilac place card that I picked up at Salvation Army. So there's a little pocket up here too that you can put something in. A vintage metal zipper and a vintage playing card. It can be a tuck spot. I try to leave room so you can glue and write, do your art journaling or whatever you want to do. This is a piece of quilted fabric that came in a fabric sample book. Upholstery trim, uh, feed sack fabrics here, collaged and then a pocket and then this came out of one of the craft, probably came out of this very craft book. It has a doll pattern and you can journal on the back. Here's another piece of fabric from that sample book and I just sewed it on the sides for a pocket. This is the information piece for the quilted piece and there's some feed sack fabric and a greeting card I just stitched some fabric to. It goes in that pocket and this little pocket or envelope that was made out of a recipe book that Julie sent me. Thank you, Julie. Just some play money stitched on the edge there. Another pocket here with a little playing card. And a current postcard with a lady hanging up her wash. Just some brown lace up there and some fabric. And I tried out various stitches on my machine here. Here's a vintage library pocket. I covered it with um, a vocabulary card and a page out of one of the craft books. And I tucked in a paint chip 
with fabric and um, pattern or er, coffee dyed paper. And here's the other side of the envelope, and it's just it just has a yarn sample card in it, just for fun. And this is the packaging that that metal zipper came in. You can journal on the back or glue it in somewhere. It's just a perfect size to fit in this little side pocket. So I just stuck it in there. And then I just glued this figure on. This is from a 1969 McCall's counter catalog. I love that. Okay, so the second signature has this fabric stitched on. It's pattern paper and a little piece of a craft book stitched on the edge right here. And so there's a pocket in here with a little booklet that I made out of pages from different craft books. There's some trims stitched on. So you can collage in this, glue stuff in there. There's some tickets here. It is a little tiny tuck space there if you want. This is just decorated with some fabric that was stitched together and um, another rosette. Some vintage gift wrap up here with a little bit of lace. This is from a planner, a large appointment book that a professional would use to mark his appointments in. And fabric and this magenta is, uh, rickrack in this little game card tucked in here. So stitched on there so it's a little tuck spot. This is a piece that I did on camera. So it's just a piece of the fabric from the sample book and then some colored burlap and some bright yellow pom-pom trim. And in the back there's a pocket and I cut this lady out from my counter catalog book and um, stitched or glued her to some ombre cardstock and then I tuck her in that way because you can see her through the burlap there. This is some cardstock, pattern cardstock, and I just glued on this envelope, glued on some of this. Focus. Okay glued on some of this braid trim that I picked up at the flea market yesterday and put a couple of playing cards, a playing card and a game card in here. And then under the flap I tucked this envelope that I decorated on camera. This is from one of the craft books and there's some burlap or VTAC fabric there. This is a vintage envelope. And here I just um, stitched a piece of the craft book to the cardstock and glued a receipt there. Here's a page from one of the craft books. I love this with the cross stitch. A couple of triangles cut from fabric, a quilter head cut. And these are just two book pages stitched together and then a pattern page, pattern catalog page stitched on. So there's lots of room here for gluing on whatever you want. Mm, I don't know if I'll do any more to these. Like I feel like I need to, there's a playing card up here. I feel like I need to decorate everything, but I need to leave room for you guys to do stuff. There's some of the cruel embroidery thread that I zigzag stitched on the edge there. This is a clear index card file with a little tab on it. So I stitched it on and then I took this piece of vintage gift wrap paper, stitched on a piece of tissue, pattern tissue, and then stitched it to coffee dyed paper. This has a vintage wrapper from Rick Rack with a little bit of feed sack fabric. And this is a library catalog card a blank one and I left the flaps on. They're perforated. You can tear them off, but I just left them on. You can do what you want with them. Put a little embroidery thread in there. Another fabric triangle. This is the other side of the appointment page. So it's kind of a tuck spot and I just put a colored index card in there. You saw me stitch this on the square 
where a patterned uh, a pattern a doll cl clothes top had been printed on the fabric and someone cut it out without cutting through the square which I thought was interesting so I just stitched it on there with a card behind it and a little piece of green fabric and here's a piece of that printed doll clothes and a little piece of trim just a flap there's a pocket here with another of the card catalog blank pieces and here's a groovy girl from the 1969 book and some lace and ribbon and it's a pocket the fourth signature or third signature has this envelope that was for stamp collectors it was my mother's and I glued a round card on the flap I glued it on so it's, there's a tuck behind it and I put this folded guest check in there this page by the way is from a catalog for the mark um, Pioneer Woman products that are sold at Walmart. So I took a page out of that little catalog and I stitched some fabric to the edge of it. There's just a shopping list sheet folded up in there and a couple more sheets for writing on tucked inside. This is a, I don't remember what it was, a book page maybe as an envelope, but I stitched this that came out of an embroidery book on the front of it. And it's a pocket and a tuck spot. This is pattern, or yeah, pattern scrapbook paper. Pattern scrapbook paper here is a pocket. And then this little girl knitting came out of a children's book and I thought it was a perfect image for a domestic arts journal. And there's a paint chip in there, a piece of one of the craft books stitched on the edge there. And this one has a package from nylon shoulder straps for making lingerie. And I just stitched it on as a pocket and put a little strip of patterned cardstock there. Here's an envelope, security envelope, with some paper and ribbon and I glued this image from the 1969 pattern catalog there behind it so you could see her through it and inside is just a piece from the pattern catalog a tally card is stitched on here and there's a little tuck spot here there's patterned colored cardstock there a crochet or knitting page here and some trim stitched on and this is an image from the printed doll clothing. I just stitched some fabric down here. Wide piece of lace is stitched here as a pocket and then some memo sheets for journaling on. Another tuck spot here and this one has a little booklet in it. the other side of the security envelope with some play money and an applique. I stitched this pocket on with a little scrap of fabric to decorate it and it just has a scrap of one of the craft books tucked in there. Some more fabric gathered up here and a playing card with a vase on it. Here we have, this is a uh, from the pattern catalog, it was a pattern for slipcovers. So I put the two images together as a pocket and made it a flip and put an inventory tag inside. Here's a vintage current card that you can write on and then there's a tuck spot behind it and I put in a needle um, needle card in there. Probably have to do something to this page maybe that page. And the final signature has this little piece from one of the railroad agent stubs that I have and it's just the instruction tab and a little playing card. There's a piece of vintage wallpaper here with some upholstery trim 
and it is fragile so I glued on a piece of this braid trim to give it some more stability at the top where you'll be putting things in and out but you must be careful with it because it's a fragile piece. Here's a page, I believe this is from the 1980s pattern book. More of the fabric. I put a index tab card in here with a vocabulary card, a little scrap of paper, and a bulb pin. And this is a vintage postcard that my friend Karina Benborn sent me from Sweden. This is from a quilting book, a patchwork craft book. A little round card and a little scrap of fabric. This is from the 1969 catalog and it's um, a pocket. And I took the this from this image here and stitched it to some coffee dyed paper. This is a book jacket. My daughter-in-law had given me the dust jackets from some of her books when she was cleaning up so I put that in here. It's from the Jungle Book and there's a vintage recipe cut from a box. I found that in a vintage recipe box at a flea market and this is from the Betty Crocker recipe card library. And this flap of the book, the dust jacket, I turned into a pocket I had stitched on a piece of, of uh, one of the craft books and there's a little bit of lace and fabric and this is a, a pocket we made on camera from the same book and it's a book about cats in crafts. So there's cats up here and there's cats on the pocket. There's a piece of feed sack fabric and there's more of that cat book. Just some paper to journal on and a piece of the 1980s book. And the back of the dust jacket, I just stitched on a collage and coffee dyed um, time card as a little belly band. And this is the bank envelope that we decorated on camera. And that goes right in there. I guess it goes this way. Now this sheet here came from something I went to like a I don't even know what it's called. Senior Citizens thing gives you information and freebies and stuff. And <clears throat> I went to it. And this is a target, a hunting target thing. But it has our um, state representative's information on it here. So I also had this notepad from our state representative with her name on it. So I just stitched three sheets of her notepad here for journaling on. Here's another envelope. I stitched some of the vintage and glued the vintage wallpaper. And then this is a bridge tally card that I stitched to some pattern or some colored cardstock. And put a fabric tab on it. There's a piece of fabric, uh, scrapbook paper doubled <coughs> and stitched to the edge to make it longer. Excuse me, and some ribbon stitched on just for decoration. Just a strip of the appointment book stitched on there and <clears throat> feed sack fabric. And this is not vintage, but it is an embroidery transfer. I found it at Hobby Lobby, 50 cents for this packet of embroidery transfers. <clears throat> transfers, and I bought three of them. So you'll be seeing some of these in these books. Then there's a blue large index tab in here <clears throat> with some fabric, feed sack fabric, a vintage rick rack wrapper stitched to it as a tuck spot, and a vintage um, flashcard tucked in. So that's what I've gotten done so far. I'll be ready to stitch it together pretty soon, and I'll be working on this one. And... this one next. So tell me what you think and uh, I'm having fun doing it. I hope you're having fun watching me. Some of you seem to be. I appreciate all of your wonderful comments. 
So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.